Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to let you guys know that I just released a new language learning course with my good friend, Johnny Harris. As many of you know, I am insanely passionate about language learning and like what that does to your perception of the world. This class, which once again, we developed together is over four hours of material that covers everything that we have learned. It contains a breakdown of the psychology of language learning, as well as a bunch of techniques and tools that can help guide you through what can be a very overwhelming process. I wanted to share the first lesson from chapter one with you guys on here, because I feel like it does a good job of capturing the essence of what this course is about. And if you're interested, you can check out the course itself in the, in the description. Wow, I can't even say it. After all these times saying that I'm still tripping up, you can find the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Drew. And I'm Johnny Harris. And we're both kind of obsessed with learning languages. For the past decade, Nathaniel and I have been teaching ourselves languages. Outside of formal schooling, we've been trying to find any hack we can to ingest a foreign language as quickly as possible. And a while back, we started talking to each other and realized that we had discovered a lot of the same hacks and techniques for learning languages and that we shared the same perspective about how languages are acquired and the quickest way to actually do it. But we also recognize that we have different learning styles as well as different life circumstances and a whole range of other factors that led us down different paths um, and different personal discoveries. The thing that really brought us together was this shared excitement for what language acquisition can do. The doors that it can open for you in terms of opportunities, culture, and experiences. In a sense, and this is gonna sound hyperbolic, but I really believe it, learning a language is life-changing. Our goal in this course is to teach you everything that we've learned about the process of teaching yourself a language. And there's more that goes into it than I think most people realize. More than anything, more than any specific technique or method, we'd like to share a way of thinking about and approaching languages. One of the major reasons we realized we were on the same page with language learning is that we both felt a deep rejection towards the typical standard educational model for language, what we learned in school. The traditional way of learning a language is often painfully frustrating and boring. Um, you're rarely ever given a reason for why you're learning what you're learning. This is problematic because without having a specific and very clear why and a strategy for going about learning a language, it can quickly feel like walking through quicksand. Furthermore, I think the biggest issue that I have with the traditional way of learning languages is that the process is just laced with humiliation and demoralizing messaging that has led to this extremely widespread belief that is visible everywhere in popular culture that you need years and years of intense academic study to be able to start speaking, I guess, if you will, to communicate in a foreign language. And it doesn't have to be that way. Both Johnny and I refuse to believe that. I just refuse to believe that learning a language has to be this soul crushing experience. And furthermore, I think language in general just doesn't operate in those kinds of absolutes. There is, I have found in my own personal experience, a better way of approaching it all. In this course, we're going to do things a little bit differently. Instead of going about things in the traditional textbook approach that I think we've all gone through at one point or another in school, we have laid out a series of methods and techniques, as well as explanations for everything, that will allow you to take charge of your own experience and your own journey of acquiring a new language. I started learning languages in high school, like maybe a lot of you. I took high school Spanish for a couple of years and felt like I learned nothing. It's crazy, you can spend so many years in a classroom looking at vocabulary, looking at grammar rules, and walk away feeling like you don't speak the language. But then my last year in high school, I got the opportunity to go live in a town in Mexico for a couple of months, where I started to become aware that the language that I had learned in the classroom was so different 
than the thing that people were speaking on the streets and among friends. A few years later, I went to an intensive language program that taught me how to prioritize what actually matters. It taught the things that you actually learn when you're on the ground trying to talk to people. From there, I went to Mexico to live for two years. And while there, I learned just how important the intensity and discomfort of immersion can be for learning a language. After about six months in Mexico, I felt totally fluent and I became addicted to this feeling of being able to express myself in a different language. So while I was living in Mexico, I got my hands on some French learning materials and I started teaching myself French outside of any schooling just while I was living in Mexico. And I started to feel more and more of a grasp on what actually matters in a language. Having learned Spanish in this sort of quick, rough, rogue way, I took on French and only focused on the stuff that really mattered. From there, I went to college and I started studying Farsi or Persian. I was studying Middle Eastern politics in school and the country of Iran, where they speak Farsi, became deeply interesting to me. So I learned Farsi on my own. I still haven't been to Iran to use my Farsi, but it's a language that is so different than any language I've ever learned. And I was able to apply the same principles that I applied to French to learning Farsi. So Spanish is my strongest language. French, I can speak conversationally. I ended up getting a minor in it in college. Farsi, I'm still sort of grasping. It's a, it's a very difficult language for an English speaker. And now my new love and the language I'm focusing on right now, I've actually just gotten started a couple weeks ago, is Italian. Throughout this course, I'm gonna be using my journey of teaching myself Italian to show you what it actually looks like in real life. Week two of Italian learning. I am feeling my head physically, there's like a physical buzzing that happens when you force yourself to speak another language. My language learning journey was a similar blend of the traditional approach, which was unenjoyable in the extreme, to put things lightly, and self-teaching. I sort of stumbled on foreign languages as a serious uh, source of interest, something that really intrigued me. Uh, for the first time when I was 16 years old and I did an exchange in high school in France. Uh, voici uh, la nourriture. Academically, it was far and away the most difficult challenge I had ever faced up to that point in my life. Um, to be going to a school uh, where I didn't even speak the language, you know, it was just this massive uh, obstacle that I suddenly faced. Precisely because of that challenge, um, and the discoveries that I made going through that process. That year ended up becoming a very pivotal year in my life and taught me so much about myself as well as, you know, it left me with this huge appreciation for what learning a foreign language can do, the impact that it can have on you. It was the key, if you will, that unlocked the door to the French speaking world, which was a world that I had had very limited access to previously, right? Like up to that point, Almost no access. That was six years ago. It sort of triggered this almost inexplicable desire to acquire other languages. And so this all led into adventures in French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. Lascerò il link giù se volete guardare i video precedenti. Every single time I've gone through the process, once again, I feel like I'm able to refine my systems and to better understand what is going on exactly in my brain and what needs to happen for me to feel like I can freely express myself. And that, once again, is what I want to share in this class. This is not to be mistaken with uh, taking a shortcut of any kind, that there's no such thing. Um, this is more so just a simple focus on, um, once again, practicality and making the process as painless as possible and as enjoyable as possible. This course is the result of both of our experiences. Many years of tinkering and trying to figure out what the most efficient way is to learn a new language. Fardo shab, fardo shab. The trickiest part about a language is just how big it is. It's like you're trying to climb a giant mountain. It's like, where do you start? What's the best way up? There are so many ways to approach it. Our goal and our focus in this course is to give you approachable, clear, efficient steps for taking on a language. It won't do the work for you. There's a lot of intensity 
and focus and motivation that comes with this journey. But our goal is to make it the most approachable possible. Half of these techniques are psychological. It's your mindset. It's how you think about language and expression and confidence. And we'll talk all about that in chapter two. But then there's actual techniques on what words you should learn and how to approach pronunciation and grammar and comprehension. All of these things can be done through lean, efficient methods. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this course. This course is best adapted to the learner who is open to a DIY approach to language learning um, that places a focus on two things in particular. Developing the ability to understand uh, and the ability to express yourself as quickly as possible. We're not here to teach you how to read the most advanced literature or you know, be able to understand advanced uh, scientific papers, right? That kind of thing can happen, but later on. Um, we're much more focused on getting you up and going and communicating as fast as possible. This is not about memorizing tens of thousands of words that you will only occasionally ever use um, and certainly not be of the most use when you're starting out. Boiled down as simply as possible, this course is about getting you to use a new language in as short a period of time as possible. We're trying to streamline the process to get you going because once you're going, it all becomes, you know, doors start opening. It becomes more exciting and uh, the discoveries lead to more discoveries. One of the reasons Nathaniel and I are pairing up and doing this together is because we have different language learning styles. And instead of making our own courses on our own styles, we decided to combine and to make a course that showcased both of our styles and both of our approaches so that you can pick and choose what techniques and mindsets work for you. Maybe Nathaniel's method of memorizing vocabulary with lists will resonate with you and you'll adopt that. But maybe my technique of using visuals and sounds to memorize vocabulary also resonates in some way and you combine those to create your own method that works for your brain and your lifestyle. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that this course is meant to be flexible. It's meant to be a toolkit from which you can grab tools that work for your life. You will see some common themes that are really important for any language learning journey, and we will emphasize those across the entire course. But the specific techniques and the specific practices that you use to acquire your language only work if they work for you, which is one of the major problems with traditional formal schooling is that it's sort of a one size fits all. This course is meant to be the exact opposite, a flexible set of tools that you can pick and choose from. We're really excited that you have decided to take this course. I am super passionate about this topic and um, it's just exciting to me to share all these insights that I've had throughout my own language learning process. Um, but before we can dive into uh, chapter two, which is all about the psychology of language learning, there are two housekeeping items that we have to get through first. Let's do it.